Hello guys and very welcome to this video. Today I am going to talk about this inverter and how I have set it up to my high voltage battery without any BMS communication between them. It was pretty easy actually, but uh, I had some issues because these units are pretty new and when I got it, it did not have the right software. So I heard that this unit was able to run on lead acid battery, so that is actually why I bought it in the first place, because if you can run it on lead acid, you probably can have it on a lithium battery if you just do the correct settings inside here. So uh, I was pretty disappointed when I opened up the menu and did find that I didn't find the lead acid mode, so I uh, talked to my seller and uh, he was very kind to me and send a mail to, to the factory and the factory come back to him and gave him a new software that he mailed back to me and finally I had that software and was very happy for that of course and <laughs> I tried that out just to find out that it was some new options inside there but still no lead acid mode inside it so I start to think that uh, this is not possible. So uh, I called the seller again and I was like, please, can you help me? I, I think that this really should work, but this software is not the latest one. He talked to the factory again and uh, come back to me with a new software and I installed that. I must say that that is actually pretty easy to, uh, to install to this unit. You just have a USB device and uh, yeah, do some settings, but we take that later. Uh, but I installed the new software for the third time and uh, then I went into the menu and voila, there it was. So uh, I was so happy and uh, just went into the menu. Let's do that. Let's take a look at it. So let's go into the menu here. Let's go into the settings. Then you need to set your password. My password are set. And uh, then we have the user setting and also advanced setting. And we are going into the advanced menu here. So let's choose that one. And then we have a lot of other settings inside here, but we are going to aim for the charger. So let's go into that and there you have lead acid. From the beginning it will be lithium iron here of course, but you will change that to lead acid of course if you want it to run with lead acid. So I cannot change this back to lithium because if I do that it will be pretty black here. So let's not do that. And if we go inside here, whoops, I don't want to change that right now. Let's go into the menu here. Then we have the charge equalization. And this is actually the highest voltage that the charger will charge my battery to. And then we have the float. I have set that at the same voltage. And then we have the discharge cutoff. Then it is set to 375 volts. So that's pretty much it into the menu there. There is actually one more hardware you need to have this inverter to run with a lead acid battery. You need to have a temperature sensor hooked up to it in the same port that you normally connect your BMS communication to your battery. Make sure to order that kind of temp sensor at the same time when you order your Solax inverter, so you are ready to use it together with lead acid, so don't have to wait for that one. Alright guys, I hope that I have helped someone out there if you had any wonders about this unit and how it is working together with a standalone battery. So guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Or subscribe if you haven't done that already. It uh, really helps my channel out. And I am so happy for all of you guys who already have subscribed to it. 
So thank you so much. I hope I see you next time. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.